Hey squad, welcome back. Now today I'm going to do things slightly differently. Rather than doing a tutorial video per se, I'm going to be doing more of a demonstration video. You see I've got some major construction going on right near to my location and the noise level can get a bit much. So that's going to interfere with the microphone. I'm going to do my best to filter out as much of the background noise from this portion right here. Anyway, I've got my glasses on for a change, just switching things up a bit and hopefully I'll still be bringing you value. And if I do, remember to like the video and subscribe and leave me a comment. It's always great hearing from you. And finally, if you require some tuition or a consultation, you can reach out to me on Instagram as well as through my website, musictechtraining.com forward slash tuition. Anyway, it's that time, so let's get into it. Okay, so to start things off, I'm gonna put down two simple guitar licks using my $30 classical guitar. I'm now choosing the best bits from both recordings and getting rid of the sections that I don't need. I'll then just copy things across so I've got a nice full eight bars of clean recording. So next up is my bass line. So as you can see right here, I'm using one of Logic's channel strip presets for the bass, and that is the Tone Sculptor. Okay, so let's put down some drums. As you can see, I've recorded the snares, the open and close hi-hats together. However, what I'll do in a second is separate them into their own tracks so they can be mixed and edited independently. Let's lay down the kick drum. As usual, I group similar instruments together and color code them so they're easily identifiable. So I've taken a few minutes offline just to add a few percussive parts to the drums to give a bit more variation to the overall groove. So let's have a quick listen to what the percussion section is doing. Now all together. As you can see, I'm mixing and arranging as we go along. And right here on the guitar, I'm filtering out a lot of the high and low frequencies on this channel. So I'm gonna record some electric guitar now using the Boutique Chic guitar channel strip setting.
Okay, so it's time to start adding some keyboard parts and I'm going to kick things off with a piano section using the Bosendoffer Grand Piano. And as you can see and hear, I've added some cool delay effects. Next up, I'm going to use Logic's fantastic vintage Mellotron to put down this cello section. Again, I'm going to be using one of Logic's stock presets, the warm string section, to put down some really lush strings as you can hear. And this is the chord progression I'll be using. Another cool sound I like to add to my productions are trills. I just want to say thanks for watching and I do hope I have brought you value. If I have, Remember to like the video, to subscribe and to leave a comment. It's always great hearing from you. And if you want to support me and the channel and all I'm doing here, you're very welcome to give a super thanks. Or you can head over to musictechtraining.com forward slash donate. Anyway, until next time, I'm Deuce. I'm out. Peace.